Okay, family, I'm back again. And we're going to do a little uh, giveaway. But first, we're going to do a little Q&A. A little question and answer session here. First, can anyone tell me what these are? And that's not part of the, the quiz. The quiz will come a little bit later. But uh, I wanted to show you these. So if anyone can tell me, no, I'm going to tell you myself. These are honey locusts. Not the kind of locusts that you heard about go and eat up everything and kill out everything. These are the little locusts that uh, we as kids, we used to eat them. There's a good nectar, sweet nectar inside of them. And uh, we used to go down to the locust tree. And we would wait till about this time of year when they were really ripe. And we would uh, not too much go up in those trees because they got some thorns that will stick, slam through your hand, your foot, your car tires. This is why you don't see a lot of them now is because people that have them on their land, especially the farmers, what they did is they destroyed them and got rid of them because... Uh, the tractor tires were puncturing. So we dared not to go up in the tree bare feet, which a lot of us did. You know how kids are. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit later on about the medicinal purposes and the use of the honey locust pods. These are and were very essential back in the Native American days and actually back in my relative days they were very essential. Different parts of the locust tree were used for many different purposes. As a matter of fact the thorns that I was telling you about that stuck in people's tires was used for needles to sew clothes with. They were used for the points of the arrows that the Native American used to hunt with. So we're going to get back into a little bit more of that a little bit later on as tonight progress. But today is Veterans Day, uh, November the 11th, and on a Saturday morning, and I'm out here. And believe it or not, people, we have had some rain. We have had some rain, and we are so very thankful for that. And I guess you can see my salad patch in between the old okra, and uh, it's coming along pretty good. So we're going to be right back to you just in a little bit, so make sure you watch to the end of this video because I'm going to have a giveaway, and I'm going to give away a nice, well, maybe a couple of, couple of nice gifts. And I'm going to get them to you before Christmas. But i got to tell you the rules, so you got to hang around, and you're going to have to watch it to the very end, because I'm not going to tell you how to win until you do. Well, I'll be back, and uh, I'll be right back at you. Well, people, this is the silent patch, as I was telling you, that you saw when Rudy and myself sold this patch it is finally beginning to move because it's been very very dry here but uh we've got all kind of greens in this particular patch you can see it's a pretty long row down through there kind of wide it's about 10 feet wide and uh we plan to get plenty of greens out of there which i'm sure we will now that the rain has started to fall as a matter of fact, it's missing a little bit today. These old okra plants, we're going to take the pods off of them, let them dry out, take the seeds out of them. But we're going to take those plants themselves 
and we're going to put them on these piles with these raised beds, and we're going to burn them. We're going to burn them and put it right back into the ground. As a matter of fact, this is what's going to help this over here and our future growing to mature and to grow better. You know, the good lot gives you fertilizer and it gives you food for your plants every year about this time when the leaves start falling. Only thing that do is re the, the, the ground itself. So don't throw your leaves away. If you have to and you don't have no place to put them, then burn them. Like I'm going to do this pile here. I'm going to burn this pile and over there is where my tomatoes was and my peppers. All that's going to be burned. Just showing you a little bit as we walk along here before I get back to the giveaway. So you better stay, stay there and watch on. Hey fam, like I was telling you before, that I was coming back to you to tell you more about the honey locust. This honey locust is a type of peas, like it's like a vegetable. And it has the gooey, gummy sweetness inside of it. This was used for a sweetener with the Native Americans and also with the ancestors of mine. Matter of fact, it's sticky, it's gooey, and it's sweet. Let me give you a closer look at that. This is what I'm talking about. It's kind of gooey and sweet. But the honey locust tree has many uses. And quite normally, you would use it for fuel, firewood, but you can also use it for coffee. I did my research, and I'm asking each of you to do your research. We got a little ninja blender here. We have already dried some moringa, which we will make pot out of tomorrow. And uh, I'll be back with another video to show you the processing the moringa. You have seen Francis and myself do it before. And a lot of people use this moringa as a, a uh, a shake, a health drink, sprinkle it on their food, and eat it this way. But now, on my giveaway, as I said before, when I was showing you the honey locust tree, that I had a surprise giveaway. Okay, now, only thing that I need for you to do, and I'm going to do this with the first people I said people because I'm going to give two of them away. Two prizes. All that you need to do is identify this leaf and tell me what plant it belongs to. Now, I will pick it out in the comments now, I'm telling you. So, it won't be no drawing this and drawing that or cheating this or cheating that. You have to identify this plant and tell me what particular bush it came off of. So that way you have to do your research. But uh, Fran looking at me like I'm, <laughs> I'm pulling a trick on you all, but I am not. And as I said, I will have two prizes, nice prizes, and I will ship them to you before Christmas. So that would be a Christmas bonus. So that would be the Babbitt and the sidekick friend on Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day 
to all my fellow vets. Be blessed. Be the Batman.